What's going on everybody? Welcome to Beyond the Screen. It's your girl Jasmine. In this video, I'm going to be doing a non-spoiler review for the movie Transformers The Last Night. Highly anticipated movie. Got a lot of hype. Super excited about it because everybody wants to know what makes Optimus Prime flip. Start tripping on everybody. He's supposed to be a lover of Earth and humans and all things good and wonderful. And in the trailer, doesn't look like he's much of... A lover. Now, okay, so every one of the Transformers movies in, implements some form of history, right? Because that's always been Optimus's thing. He's like, oh, our worlds are intertwined and, you know, a part of each other. Our histories have to do with each other. This movie takes it back to, like, England like 1600 years ago when the days of Merlin and Lancelot and the Knights of the Round Table and all of that good stuff, which is why you see all the horses and the swords and things like that in the trailer because there's Transformer-ness back then. Not really much I can say about the plot and all that kinds of stuff without spoiling it. So really, I'll just kind of give you guys some heads ups. This is going to kind of be like a heads up review. And then I've got a spoiler review that I'm going to record right now. It's long. It's long. It's a long movie. <laughs> it started at 8.55. Like that was the time. So the preview started at 8.55 and I didn't walk out of the theater until 11.50. It's a long movie. I don't necessarily feel like it had to be that long of a movie. Now, it was cool to see, you know, all your favorite Transformers pop back up and make their little different entrances with their little clever lines and all that types of stuff. But this movie was definitely much slower to action than the other movies. I feel like the backstory and the history of it all took up way more of the movie than the action creativity type of scenes that we love to see from Michael Bay with these Transformers movies. I feel like you definitely, if you have like an appreciation for American history and like you care and paid attention in history class, then this will probably be an intriguing movie for you. But if you're like me and didn't or don't, then it's, it's a little dry to start out with, honestly, just being honest. I went with four adults and two children and the other three adults I went with took turns taking naps throughout the movie. It was a rough one. I was, I was really disappointed in how slow it went. I also wish, I don't know if that's a spoiler, Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I can say that. I don't want to hear anybody's mouth, so I'll put it in my spoiler review. <laughs> yeah, they're just, I don't know. I'm disappointed. It wasn't horrible. It wasn't a horrible movie. It was still a good movie, but it was a, it was long winded. It was a very drawn out and it really didn't need to be. I, I feel like they had so much room and so much good action scenes that could have been more of the movie than all the talking. Like even just the, the monologue voiceover for the trailer, it's like, okay, cool and all, you know, the quote, you know, no sacrifice, there can be no victory. Like, all right, we get it. You know, the Transformers line and all that good stuff, but we want to see them transform. We want to see fights. We want to see Dark Moon type of takeover city scenes and all of that. And it took a long time. We had to, we had to pay our dues and sit through a lot of fluff to get there. Now, I think that the whole last night concept of it was really cool. You know, you want to, they're looking for this, like this staff thing, you know, there's always something we're looking for, the all spark or whatever else. And this time it's the staff. And that's why Autobots, Decepticons, they're always looking for something. That's what they're looking for. I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to review this this type of movie without without telling you stuff. Parents, the Transformers got potty mouths all of a sudden. I'll say that. This isn't a movie that my kids can watch. Every single Transformer cusses at least twice in this movie. The four little kids that are in the trailer, each of them cusses at least once. That little cute little girl that Mark Wahlberg calls little J-Lo, she cusses like five times. Too much. Can't handle it. There's a lot of cussing in this movie for a Transformers movie, and I didn't like that either. If I had to put a grade on it, I'm gonna give it a B plus. 
not really what I was expecting, but yeah, we're gonna, it's a, it's a B plus. I don't, I'm sad. <laughs> but like I said, it wasn't horrible. You can't deny Michael Bay and Steven Spielberg's greatness, but for a Transformers movie, I was definitely disappointed. I'm gonna record a spoiler review like right this minute. You guys are like, you say you're gonna do spoilers and you don't do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna record it right now. You guys can watch that for, for more. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's complicated. When you see the movie, if you're a fan, you're gonna understand why this was so hard. Like, I can't I can't say much without spoiling it, so I'm, I'm gonna leave it there, I'm gonna stop rambling. That's what I have to say, wanted to give the parents a heads up. Wanna let you guys know it's long, it's long. It's not one to go see if you're tired. Make sure you're energized and you're alert and you're ready to focus and pay attention because it's, it's, it's long, yeah. Emojis, we're gonna give it a sword, you know? because it's the last night. Let's give it Bumblebee, like an actual Bumblebee. And we're gonna give it, let's see, my little mystery emoji is going to be... Submarine. Yeah. And that'll do it, guys. I'm gonna get to this spoiler review. If you enjoyed this video, smack that like button. If you wanna see more videos from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. As always, I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Until next time, God first, God bless.